Today I've got one of the best garage door opening solutions that I've found as yet. I've done it before with a Shelly one, but this is so easy. It comes with everything in the kit, super easy to install and a great price as well. So let's have a look what we get in the box. If we open this up, first of all, we get the device itself. Really neat little black box. Uh, it's got two little plug points here on the side. The one is for connecting the reed switch sensor. The other one is the wiring to go to your garage door opener. On the other side, we've got a little press button here with an LED. And on the front here, we've got a USB input for the power. So it comes with a USB cable and it also comes with a power brick. Along with that, we've got a long cable which is used to connect the reed switch sensor over there so that you know whether the door is open or closed. Also comes with a little bracket here. It's got a lead to connect to your garage door opener. It's got some screws as well. And there's the little magnet that goes with the reed sensor. So let me show you how it all works. So as you do with all Atham devices, turn it on and then go and search in your Wi-Fi. There it is, Atham Garage. Select that and now you will wait and see your Wi-Fi networks will come up. You select your 2.4 gigahertz network and then it will pop up this one. There we go. So you select your 2.4 gigahertz and then you put your password in and then it will connect to your network. Simple as that. So here we go. We can see that we've got some notifications down here. New devices discovered. Click on here and we have the Atom Garage door. So we're going to go and configure that. Do we want to add it? Yes, we certainly do. And we'll put that in the garage and we'll go finish. All right, so let's go to ESP Home. 13 devices. Here we have Atom Garage door and we will add this to. Let's just refresh this. See if it brings up our entities. So we've got two sensors. We've got a garage door button and a contact. Um, so we want to check here. We've got a restart. We've got the status. Let's see what that is. That is connected. So let's just have a look. And here we've got our up down. So we can now select our device and we can go down. So if we have a look at our read switch here, you can see that if we open it then it says garage door is open and if we bring the reed switch magnet back it's closed so effectively imagine the door is closed and now we press the up button to open it so it opens the garage the contact goes away so it's open now and now we're going to close it so we're going to press the close so it will close the garage door and the moment it reaches the bottom and it's now the sensor goes again and now it's ready to open again. So it's working absolutely perfectly. I love this little device. So simple to connect and so simple to use. All right, so now that you've got it all connected up in Home Assistant, all you need to do is do the wiring. So you take this little box and the red and the black wire need to be connected to your automatic garage door opener. Have a look at the manual and find out which the two pins are that you need to connect to for a remote button for operating it. Really easy, you can go with the red and the black, one on either pin, doesn't need to be correct way around, it's just a dry contact that is gonna close up and tell that garage door to start moving. The other thing is, obviously just plug your uh, charger in, connect it up for power, and then take your uh, this long lead here with your reach switch, run it along to somewhere on the side of the garage door where you'll be able to access the movement of the garage door. Then you take your metal magnet and you install that in the garage door. So when it's in the closed position, it is closing this reed switch. And that's how easy it is. Have fun and I look forward to catching up again. Bye for now.